So happy Vlogmas, you all. I've got to share some insider scoop with you guys. So you know it's Vlogmas. That means I'm putting out a new video every single day. It is now noon and I have done nothing but sit at my computer and edit videos. Literally nothing. I did change the sheets on the bed, but that is the only bit of housework I have done. I have been sitting at my computer since 7.30 a.m. editing and doing all of the things for my Vlogmas videos. And it is so much stuff, like so much stuff to keep track of. I wanna show you all this spreadsheet that I have on my computer that helps me keep track of everything. And when I share this information with you all, it may take the fun out of Vlogmas because I know so many of you all think that my videos are literally real time. Like I'm holding my phone and at the end of the day, I hit upload and you see it. That is so not how Vlogmas works for me anyway. Just look at my spreadsheet and I'll explain it to you. So I have to keep a spreadsheet every day in December with every video topic, whether it's been filmed or uploaded or what the status is. Did I post it on Facebook? Did I put it on my community page? Is it on my Instagram story? This is what Vlogmas looks like to me. And it is just crazy, confusing, and so much work. But it is lunchtime. I'm finally dressed. Not super crazy. My hair is in a ponytail. I'm only going to the grocery store today. And then I'm going to come home and make Christmas crack. I have not made a batch of Christmas crack yet this year. I've been thinking about it. I've been dying to make it. And today is the day. And Randy called me this morning and said that he came across an Instagram reel of somebody making Christmas crack. But instead of using saltine crackers as the base, they used pretzel crisp. And so while I'm at the grocery, I'm going to get a bag of those. And when I make my crack, I'm going to do half the pan with saltines and half the pan with pretzel crisp. And if I have time later this afternoon, I'm going to wrap some more Christmas gifts and I'm making Kung Pao chicken for dinner tonight. So that takes a little bit of prep work. I have to make a marinade. Hey, Mooey. This little sweet face is looking at me as I'm talking to y'all. And Moo, did you bring in this little leaf from the outside, bud? Did this get stuck in your fur? He was chewing on this. Mama got it. Look how comfy he is. So I'm gonna make Kung Pao chicken for dinner tonight. I have to get my chicken in the marinade. My dad's coming over for dinner. I am not making homemade egg rolls. I am not that into it tonight. He's actually gonna stop at the little Chinese restaurant up the street and bring egg rolls over, but I'm making Kung Pao chicken with spicy green beans. That is in my cookbook. If you all have not downloaded my cookbook, what are y'all doing? It is available in the description box below. Almost every meal that I have made in the past week or so is in the cookbook. Kung Pao chicken is one of our favorites. I think it might be Randy's favorite meal. I make it so often and that's what I'm up to tonight. So since it's lunchtime, I'm gonna have my leftovers from last night. Randy and I had date night, went to Texas Roadhouse. I have my salmon and green beans and loaded mashed potatoes left over. They're in the fridge along with one of those delicious rolls and some cinnamon butter. So I'm gonna eat super quick. I have my grocery list together. Y'all, I've had this grocery list for four days and every day I tell myself today I'm going to the grocery and then I never go to the grocery but today I have to go to the grocery because some things I need for tonight's dinner I don't have so I have to go and I'm going to take y'all with me. So I get asked often if I still do intermittent fasting and the answer is yes. I didn't have my breakfast, my bowl of yogurt until 10:45 this morning. It's now 12 o'clock. I'm having my lunch and you see how small my lunch is. That is how I've been able to maintain my weight because I only do intermittent fasting. I'm not counting carbs. I'm not counting calories. I just eat a pretty small amount of food. I eat what I want, but I don't gorge and stuff myself. I mean, this was a five ounce piece of salmon when I got it at the restaurant last night and I'm eating half of it. So two and a half ounces of salmon, maybe two or three tablespoons of mashed potatoes and green beans. I am gonna eat a roll. There's carbs in the roll, but you know, that's all I'm eating for lunch. I got on the scale this morning actually, cause I feel like I'm bull but I think it's just because I've been sick and I'm taking medicine. Oh, by the way, tomorrow is my last day of my antibiotic and the steroids in tonight. Woo! I'm so excited because the steroids are messing with my taste buds. But I got on the scale this morning. It was 137.2. I have not put on a single pound since I lost the weight. Mm, was a year and a half ago. 
it just stayed right there and it's great. So intermittent fasting is absolutely the way to go. It works for me. I didn't eat the whole row, y'all. I'm sharing it with these two boys. These little cutie pies right here. So I'm gonna show you all my hair. I've been trying to let the length grow out so that I can do a lower ponytail instead of having to put it up here on the top of my head. Look how long this has gotten. Let me see if I can. Can y'all see that? Look, I have like an actual ponytail without looking like a puffball on top. But that was the only way I could do a ponytail because all of these things wouldn't fit in it. And uh, yeah, 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 I'm liking it. It's a low key day. I'm in a long sweatshirt. I have on leggings. I'm gonna put on tennis shoes and we're headed to Walmart. So I just checked my P.O. box and I had two letters from you all. One from Beth. Ooh, it's like a pretty thick card. Let's see what's in here. A super pretty card and inside is something. Oh, whoops, oh, 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 oh. dropped one. It is tea. Oh, ginger tea, elderberry tea, and I'm not sure which one fell on the floor. I have to get that in a second. Very sweet note, Beth in Virginia. Thank you so much. And I know so many of you all miss my vlog style videos. That's why I did Vlogmas. And truth be told, I realized that I miss vlogging too. Vlogging is just a lot of work. It is so much harder than it seems. I promise I will do more vlogs next year. After Vlogmas, I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to catch my breath and there will be more vlogs coming up in 2024. And then I have a, another cute little card from Bonnie in Virginia. Christmas card. Thank you, Bonnie. Merry Christmas. Blessed 2020, 2024. Hugs to me, Randy Girls, and of course, Pollux and Maxie. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Bonnie. So just as I think I get it right with wearing a sweatshirt because it was cloudy and freezing cold, I pull into the Walmart parking lot and the sun comes out. So I'm probably gonna regret this decision. was not so bad. Walmart was not busy, surprisingly. The shelves were stocked. Everything was clean. It was a pretty pleasant experience. I got everything I needed. I'm going to cook tonight and tomorrow night, and then I think we're going out the next night. So that is as prepared as I need to be, honestly. Mama's home, Mama's home, Mama's home. All right, bud. Let's go outside. You wanna go outside? Come on. Oh, Pollux is ready to go outside. Okay. Oh, move, go. You got it, bud. It's sunny now. Go enjoy it, bud. You got it, go. Go. Yeah, you can do it, go. <laughs> no, uh -uh, no, no, you go out, you go out. Mm -hmm. Y'all want a tree? Okay, all right. Pugs, moo, cut yours in half, it's new.
Pollux, do you want to show them what you did? My mom was at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Look at this, y'all. This is what I came home to. Destruction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does that look like a face of regret? It does not to me. And then, in here, this one's on my couch. Moo. Buddy, you know the rules. Nobody is listening to me. Look at them. They're just like, yeah, whatever. We hear you yapping, Mom. But we are not listening to you. So it's 2.30, I'm home from the grocery store, and I think it's time for some Christmas crack. And I wanna see a show of hands from you all. Have you made my Christmas crack? Comment below, yes, no, something, let me know. That video has gone viral for the past two years. It has almost a million views. My Christmas crack video that I filmed during Vlogmas two years ago is off the charts crazy and so many people have made my christmas crack sent me messages sent me emails letting me know how good it was and i'm going to make some now but i'm going to do like i said half a pan with pretzel crisp and half a pan with just regular salty crackers which is my fave that has my heart and i'm not going to get into this recipe in detail if you want to see my whole christmas crack video and the recipe i'll put it in the card right up here as well as link it in the description box below that truly is a step-by-step -step video on how to do it and when you make the christmas crack don't cut any corners it will not turn out right so you have to watch the whole video and make sure you do it, you know, follow the steps. So I'll say this, my kitchen smells flipping amazing. Oh, if you have never had Christmas crack, just trust me, make a batch. So what I learned about the pretzel crisp, number one, you can't lay a pretzel crisp flat. So my chocolate didn't get evenly distributed. The caramel is kind of lumpy dumpy and the pretzels don't look great. Now I'm sure when I break them up into little pieces, it's gonna look different, but it's not super pretty on the pan, but my crack on the other side with the crackers is beautiful. I normally do this on a bed of aluminum foil, but I decided to try it on parchment paper to see if it's any easier to get off. And once it came out of the oven and I got everything spread, it started to harden up pretty quickly. So I put my parchment paper on a big cookie sheet to try to get some air underneath it. Then I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and let it cool. So um, I'll keep you posted. I will be tasting some in about 10 minutes. So the crack has only been cooling for about 10 minutes. The chocolate is still gooey, but I, I cannot wait. I have to taste this, so forgive me. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. The caramel has set up, but the chocolate is still wet, but I don't care. Mmm. This is the one, the one sweet Christmas thing I cannot stay out of. And people ask me, well, how come you only make it to the holidays? Y'all, if I made this year round, I would be as big as a barn, literally. I cannot not eat this stuff if it's in my house. And my soon-to-be son-in-law, Tebow, loves this as much as I do. So I just sent him a video of my plate of Christmas crack. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, that goo. I just had four crackers worth of Christmas crack, and I've tried the pretzel. I didn't like it. The crackers have the salt, with which paired with the caramel and the chocolate and the nuts is mm, amazing. The pretzels were just kind of, mm, like I could taste the pretzel in there, but it didn't have that saltiness. I don't know, I didn't love it. So I'm glad I really didn't do a full half of a pan. Now Randy might come home and go nutso for it, but I'm sticking with my crackers. Let me show you how much I have eaten. So here's the whole pan. I've had, oh, I guess it was just three crackers here. And then I pulled out a pretzel there. Pollux, you are one silly boy, isn't he, Moo? He's so silly. He been laying there in the middle of the dining room because Mama refuses to move his bed. I cleaned up all his fuzz. But, yeah, this is where he's been all afternoon. In a too small of a bed with Moo in the big bed. So we had a fantastic dinner. My dad was in the Christmas crack, eating crack. Before his dinner, after his dinner, I just took my last steroid. Thank goodness. And two more antibiotics tomorrow and I am done, y'all. I'm feeling better. I still have kind of a snotty nose. Oh my goodness, thirsty Pollux. They got some rice for dinner tonight. But I'm hoping, surely to goodness, tomorrow after I finish my antibiotic, I should be good to go. I hope you all can tell my energy level is much, much better. I don't have a headache anymore and I, I do still have some congestion in my ears but getting better every day. So that's it for the night. We're gonna wrap it up. I wanna say, see you later with a piece of Christmas crack and happy Vlogmas. See you tomorrow.